So what are you going to be doing? I understand you have some plans in the works um, for, fu for future expansion on the site here. What do you plan to do to try to get the public more involved with this, this artifact, this building here? Our plan has been to create more of an interactive experience mm -hmm. rather than just touring and looking at the, the grounds in the building. On holidays and occasion, we'll have interactive events. We've had guys napping arrowheads. Mm -hmm. We've got a gentleman that will instruct you on throwing tomahawks. Mm -hmm. We're uh, plans to build a blacksmith shop mm -hmm. and do blacksmithing and other pioneer um, events mm -hmm. and skills and to make it more attractive. And you're going to be using some of these bricks here. And, and we intend to use some of these old adobes that we've salvaged, and we're going to either create or salvage some more from other buildings as they're torn down and build a small blacksmith shop. Right. The original blacksmith shop inside of the Grantsville's fort was just to the north of this building. We have the old original diagrams, and we're going to try and replicate approximately what it was where it was. All right, Ron Griffin is also a tour guide here at the museum on a volunteer basis. Um, tell us a little bit about some of your favorite things to do here at the museum. What have been your favorite projects? Uh, probably the favorite project has been in the construction of the bell tower mm -hmm. and in the Matati stand lately. Mm -hmm. And i am been sneaking in a few times and working here on the cabin that's behind us, uh, mm -hmm. trying to do some of the restoration that's sadly needed on it. Mm -hmm. Why should people come see your museum? Well. It's a connection to history, the, not only Grantsville, not only the Donna Reed Party, but to America, because many important people in American history have passed directly through this route. Mm -hmm. We know the Spanish were around for 300 years, and that Jedediah Smith came right down this road in 1827 in his trick back from California going to rendezvous. Mm -hmm. So people have been here for generations, and it has been a crossroads mm -hmm. for this part of the valley. Uh, you know, you only have to look in the ground a couple inches and you it's phenomenal what can be found just laying here beneath our feet. All right, so now we're out here with uh, Jimmy Weber, who is helping the uh, museum start some of its new interactive exhibits. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what these new uh, exhibits are going to entail? Well, some of the new exhibits are basically is the uh, is not only bringing them back and, and cleaning them up and making them look attractive, but also to bring in something for the outside to come in something that they can actually get their mm -hmm. hands on and when they do that they feel a little bit more part of it and I think they have a lot more fun than just uh, listen to somebody lecture mm -hmm. and uh, usually when you're impressed in doing something yourself or being shown something new and you put everything into it you I think you get a little a lot more out of it than just kind of mm -hmm. reaction from people talking so we're just trying to hands on right so what kind of activities are we talking about that will be available well the one that I'm the one that I'm doing is uh, knife and tomahawk throw mm -hmm. and it's basically just trying to get them on what was popular in the olden days mm -hmm. and it wasn't necessarily for existence but it was uh, it was it was a way of life for them mm -hmm. back then and so that way of life is not really being achieved here but kind of gives them a an idea on what they did and the reason why they did it and why they mm -hmm. spent so long trying to do one revolution or two revolutions of a tomahawk and mm -hmm. same thing with skinning and anything else that's 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 part of the early days mm -hmm. that's the only way we ate right okay. yeah so you're not from Grantsville originally you moved here why get involved in historic preservation here in Grantsville then? Well, uh, I was always part of the uh, of the Mountain Men back in Indiana, and when I was in the military, I was uh, still did a lot of rendezvous, mm -hmm. but had a lot of fun with it. It's something that stuck with me, and mm -hmm. uh, when I got here, it was more plentiful than than back east, mm -hmm. and uh, there's more here. And of course, I like the church history and every and all that, and it's just. Uh, always wanted to know about Donna Reed other than reading and and when this come available I took advantage of it and I said hey I'd like to do this and they, yeah we'd be glad to have you so that's that's where that ended up and mm -hmm. I've, I've had a blast since I've been here. Cool. So when when are these new activities going to be available when can people come down and learn how to throw a tomahawk from you? Uh, we're looking at probably where when we get the full thing open could be a week or two weeks and then it, it might be either every other weekend or and we'll have they have different people bringing in stuff they got uh, uh, people with flint and steel and other things that they're working with and rocks mm -hmm. and it's just uh, a lot of hobbyists that uh, enjoys what they do and it's and it's quite quite attractive when they're done so and I kind of like what I do too so it's it's fun it's really fun right thank you